My name is José Aragão, I work for the Portuguese National Tourist Office in London and uh, I am one of the product managers. Well, uh, nothing to do with tourism. I have, uh, I have my career has been in sales uh, most of my life. But um, I ended up coming to the UK and this job was available and I, I took it. I deal specifically with the, the major tour operators, the, 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 the biggest uh, tour, tour operators in the UK but also with airlines, with uh, associations. Uh, with we, we ended up uh, wearing more than one hat. It's a small team and uh, we try to help each other as well. So uh, we all do, in a way, uh, the same jobs depending who is available. Portugal is a, a small country uh, with about uh, 10 million people and uh, a relatively small territory, but very diverse. Uh, the, the mainland, the continent, is uh, divided into five promotion regions, uh, Porto on the north, uh, in the north, green, uh, very authentic, well, like all the other regions, but uh, it's where Portugal was born. Uh, then you come down to the center region, which is uh, similar to the northern one, but a bit more uh, harsh in terms of uh, the, the landscape. Um, then you come to the Lisbon region, where we have our capital, uh, a, a very uh, more populated than the other places uh, with very interesting historical sites. Uh, then the, the Alentejo region, which is flat and very hot during the summer. And then the Algarve, which most people know. Uh, all of these regions are uh, surrounded by the coast, so the ocean is the main theme of our country. We then have two group of islands, the Madeira archipelago and the Azores. They are completely different. <coughs> Madeira, volcanic, but uh, established volcanic, so not active at all, but uh, very mountainous, very green and luxurious, with a small island next to it, which has probably one of the best uh, beaches that I've seen in my life. Uh, sandy uh, and very, very golden and very fine. It's very interesting for families. And then we have the Azores, which is volcanic. And, but active volcanic, a group of nine islands, uh, slightly different from each other, but uh, interesting for those looking for nature. In the UK market, we uh, based ourselves <coughs> on the promotion that the regions themselves uh, have to do. Our promotional budgets are divided within those seven regions. We support them in uh, choosing the best way to do it. We do it online, we do it directly to the consumer in uh, trade events or consumer events and trade events for the, for the trade as well. But it's based on, on different marketing programs that the regions uh, fulfill every year. It's a mix between uh, the traditional press and the online activities. Um, each region will have their own campaigns uh, either on online exclusively depending on the target that they wish to, to, to reach. If it's golf, for example, we will naturally choose uh, specialist golf magazines specialist websites for, for, for that product. Um, we also <coughs> have an important part in terms of marketing with the airlines and the tour operators which have a high volume of, of uh, traffic into Portugal. We create partnerships on an early basis to make sure that we use their, uh, their uh, promotional uh, campaigns to be integrated on those so we share the, 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 the investment and uh, obviously the return as well. In the end, it all comes to figures. Uh, we, we, we always try to find out what is the pre-campaign uh, traffic to a certain region or on a certain product, and then evaluate that at the end of the year. And if the figures grow, we know that there was some success on that. Uh, but there isn't, as you, as you know, the, it's quite difficult to, to measure uh, a national campaign. An image campaign is, is very difficult to to gauge the, the success. Depending on the situation we, we, we use uh, for smaller campaigns, uh, our own expertise, which uh, through the years we have uh, acquired, so we know which mediums to choose. But if it's a very large campaign, obviously we, we have to go into the, the international uh, media uh, buyers and uh, advertising agencies to get their advice and we ended up falling part of their advice or in total if we agree with the plans that they submit to us. Well, being a very diverse country, 
Portugal can't ignore any part of, uh, of the consumer. So we, we, we obviously have stronger products. Sun and Sea is a very important product uh, within the UK market. Uh, golf, we are extremely strong, fortunately. We have been working that for many years, many decades now. And, um, and it's one of our strong products, but also business tourism. Uh, it's an important part for, for the main <coughs> towns of Portugal, Lisbon and Porto. Um, but there isn't one segment that we ignore uh, apart from ski, which we don't have the mountains or the ski uh, product to offer. But apart from that, Portugal has a bit to offer to everybody. And it's a small distance between the UK and Portugal, so that advantage, we, we are aware about it. Competition is extremely strong. There are new destinations uh, appearing with very strong offer and products that are competing directly with us. Shrinking budgets are probably our main challenge. It's to make sure that we are able to uh, pass on the image of Portugal to, to the consumer uh, that without the funding that we used to have, uh, it's a challenge really. But we work every day to make sure that we have partnerships with the people that can take uh, tourists to Portugal to make sure that those budgets are applied in the best way possible. We have many, but um, being in this house, uh, it has been very rewarding to be at World Travel Market for the last 23 years, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, and one of the awards that we have been uh, receiving from you is uh, the best stand on show. And that is really rewarding because World Travel Market is a business-to-business -business, uh, event and to be the best business stand on show is very rewarding. But we had several uh, awards uh, from the UK market, the golf side mean being probably the one that uh, we on a regular basis receive and make us very proud about it. At uh, the World Travel Awards, which happened in Yagav last year, or this year, sorry, uh, we got uh, uh, another two awards, uh, one related to golf, one related to sun and sea, and those make us very proud. I'm an ordinary uh, from uh, the green areas of, of Portugal, and um, it's my favorite place. I've been here for a, a very long time, and the longer it is, the more I appreciate or I, or I miss those green little mountains that we have in the north of Portugal where the food is fantastic and the wine as well. But it's a very diverse country and it depends on the season. Um, in the summer it's obviously very nice to be around the Algarve. My favourite month will be in September when it's a bit quieter and uh, the sea is warm and, and a bit more for myself. Um, the Azores. It's striking, the, the, the nature uh, and the volcanic side, it's, it's, it's really attractive and um, it's something that it shouldn't be missed.